Who's that swing? Welcome to the John Lewis Show. Let's all get together and say hello to John Lewis. All right. Okay, yeah. Thank you, California to be my co-host, Ron. Yes. And Ron, you've been who's that swinging me to death, so I had to who's that swing you to death, Ron. Who's that swing, Ron? Just don't kill me. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, All right, thank time, you. we have a, 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 uh -oh. a, a prolific individual with us uh -oh. today. Uh, goes he, those words uh, he's again. a master drummer. Uh, he's all those things that all the ladies and all the world would enjoy being around. A beautiful Ryan. arranger. And uh, I mean, he's all those things, Ron. Right. Orchestrator. Wow. You know what I mean? He, and above and all, rejects, a player. And he rejects, <laughs> he rejects a good feeling mm -hmm. and, and very creative and mm -hmm. came up at a time where the music was really flourishing. Who could this, this gentleman welcome, be? This welcome Charlie Prescott. All right. right. How you doing, Charles? What a beautiful <laughs> intro. <laughs> yeah. What's that, man? Beautiful. What a beautiful yeah, intro. Right. Yeah. yeah. And uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, Charles says, been so busy in the music business all these years. Hey, Charles, how old are you, man? You look, I know you, you look about 20, man. That's it. Uh-huh. You did? Just how I look. Uh -huh. yeah, what you see is what you get. So, Charles, I see you got a, uh, I, I know they say you got a new album here, Charlie Percep and, and Super Band 2, mm -hmm. in case you missed it. That's right. I didn't miss it. I mean, you had a big you, well, had, you had, to, had a big band previously, child. Well, yeah, but see, but you means anyone, so it doesn't necessarily mean you. You, just, in oh. case you missed it. Really? So for all of the thousands and millions of people, hopefully, that will buy this album, in case they missed my first one, this is the second one, second mm -hmm. band too. Mm -hmm. So, man, what, so what have you been, you know, cause, because when I first came to New York, Giles, you was, uh, uh, you invited me to, uh, uh, see, you were playing with Mel Tremay at that time. Well, know? during that time, John, yeah. I was pursuing a career as a studio musician. Yeah. Uh, not in the strict sense of the word. I've always been a freelance artist. Yeah. Except for the times that I worked for the bands that I wanted to work with, which we, uh, case in point, Dizzy Gillespie yeah. and a few yeah. other. But other than that, I've always been, uh, I like the status of a freelance artist. Yeah. During that time, uh, to function on the economic level that mm -hmm. I always aspire to function on, which is which is as top as I can get. Yes. Uh, in order to do that, I had to go into the studios during the time that I met you yeah. and function more or less as a studio musician. Yeah. Uh, consequently, the, uh, the uh, live performances that were made available to me were, were, were the performances where I backed people like Mel Torme yeah. and the stars that came into town at the mm -hmm. clubs that was happening at that particular Big time. time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that's how that came about. Yeah, but I noticed that you had mentioned uh, uh, a few days ago that uh, when I was talking to you on the telephone, Buddy Rich had called you and, mm -hmm. and asked you why you, you you did what you did at that time. Why didn't you have your own big band? Because for him to say that you should have had your on Big Band, I mean, that's, that's really saying something, man. So what was uh, your reasons <laughs> to him? I mean, uh, you said well, socioeconomic. It was socioeconomic. Exactly, that's, exactly. Yes. Well, well, you know, Buddy, uh, I mean, Buddy's very beautiful. But, yeah. uh, uh, I really like Buddy Rich quite a bit, and he seems to like me. Uh -huh. uh, but you're a drummer, Ron, you're a drummer. And any drummer knows that uh, from a standpoint of playing the instrument, you've got to love Buddy Rich because mm -hmm. he's a unique one-of-a-kind personality uh -huh. and drummer yeah. uh, and a monster. There's no question about yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I've always been very pleased that I've always had a, a very nice, uh, friendly relationship yeah. with Buddy.